Hey everybody, Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. Piano Meditation Worship Tutorials. Um, today, the song is Hills and Valleys, and God, we just call you into this lesson. We trust you, God. The good times and the bad times. God, we just pray for the student wherever they are in the world, in your name. Amen. All right. So, uh, we are going to use the extra page on cheat sheets today. So if you want to draw some stuff in, get yourself some cheat sheets down below the video. It says email list and uh, I'll send that right over to you. And you need to draw in this. This will be on page 14. And what you're going to see here for the key of D, it's not your uh, normal chords in the cheat sheets, but it's how everything flows in this song. It's, it's actually... Um, if you'll take some time and work downward from the B minor seven, A sus, G two, if you'll if you'll do uh, what I'm showing here, and the green is your right hand and the blue your left hand, but you'll see this movement here, how it flows very nicely together. Um, so spend some time just doing those four chords in order. Right, and, and by keeping the right hand here and moving the bass notes, we're creating these other chords. I'm not going to go into the theory of that because I want to get y'all just playing the song. Uh, but um, a little later in the video, toward the end, I'll explain kind of what's uh, going on. If you want to dig into, uh, into all of that. So get that movement. And then there's... After you get uh, those movements, then there's only one other chord, which is the E minor 7. So our pinky never really has to move off this D note in the in the right hand. All right, so work through those. And then once you have the chords in order on your hands, then you can start doing this uh, rhythm. So I'll, I'll go slowly for you. four chords and that's how almost all the song will feel uh, besides the pre-chorus um, so you just need to get that movement of when the chords shift and then I'll, that'll give you a good feeling through the whole song um, so let's look using that in the verse and then we'll come back to what the intro does I walked among the shadows you are the tears of that's flowing break I've seen right not bring praise to heaven from my lowest place and I have held no blessing God you give and take away and we're into the uh, pre-chorus now I'm, I'm going through this and I'm going through it pretty quickly because I know from teaching piano a long time this is just something you have to work out you're not going to learn it in time with the video. So you need to get that movement in your hands, practice, 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 circle this movement. And then if you wanna play and sing with it, you gotta start weaving that in there uh, because he does not sing this like a normal song. He goes all over the place. Um, so work on the singing of it, work on the playing, start to weave it together. Da, 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 da. And you can, you can do it. It might take time. It might take a week or a month. Uh, but start, start slowly getting those things going together. And you may just want to play with the recording. Uh, his acoustic recording is what this is from. And that will help you, uh, like if you don't want to sing, just play with it. And that will help you get the timing as well. Cool. So now that we're flowing through that, let's jump back over to the intro, which is really neat. So, let me look at the left hand first. Here's what I like to do. I'm going to play this B flat, F sharp, A, then down to G, E, G. Sorry, that was A, E, A, then G, E, G. You're looking at the screen going, what's wrong with him? If you weren't already thinking that. And then you'll end up at D, A, D. 
So the left hand will have that t t t ah t t that movement that we were doing with the other chords still. Right, while the right hand's going. So you can leave this pinky down through a lot of those. And it creates a cool sound as you're doing this left hand. All right, so it's a little weird in the sense of left hand hits first. I'm sorry, right hand, right. That's how you'll land those first two things. And then these land together when you go da da da. And then it's off for the next part, then together. All right, so let me show you again slowly, and then I'll move past this to ready and. Then what he does is the same thing, but an octave lower. And then the very last time, so you'll go. This is kind of a cool movement. That's how you end it. So after we move down, da 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 da. Part. Now let's look at the pre-chorus. We have this E minor seven. Now on this one, you don't do the uh, chord movement rhythm we we worked on. You just play this four times. Your grace is enough. Keep doing the same thing for the B minor seven and the A sus. No matter what I have. It's that same movement through the course. The mountains I will make my life to the one who sets me there. Sets. In the valley I will lift my eyes to the one who sees me there. Standing on the mountain, didn't get there on my own. So I like to put an extra, uh, you'll see that. Um, extra thing right there before I switch to B minor, A sus, extra, G, D, extra, All right, and you can flow through the course that way. By the way, don't play like this, make sure your hands are out nice curved as you're playing through it. I'm just doing that so you can see a little better what is going on. Okay, so that's how you flow through the course. Um, now, on some of the choruses, you'll hear that he's like playing a melody thing along with it. You don't have to do that if that's too much for you. Uh, but if you do want to do it, it sounds like this. Right? Just like the intro. Um, so the same thing. You're just singing this time. You're the God of the hills and valleys. Now you, it's your intro, but you're just singing with the chorus. Or if he does it up high. I, I am not alone. Right? Uh, and that's actually a cool technique we talk about what we're doing here. So learn that. It, it'll be good for you. It will be good. Why did I turn into Count Dracula? It will be good for you. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't say blah, blah, blah. All right. So... Um, in the turnaround of the song, it's that same little intro. Just kind of the last part uh, coming out of the chorus. Um, so there we go. So I, again, I, I kind of want you to show you how to flow through the song. You can copy and paste the, the chords and lyrics from below into a Word document and, and print it off and, 
Uh, but this one is going to take a little work, and you're going to have to listen to the recording and kind of see how the song uh, flows as we go through that. The bridge, uh, when you get to that, uh, when you're working through, uh, it doesn't follow it, the, the downward movement of the chords. It'll go from B to G, and then D to A sus. So it's moving in a different way, but uh, as long as you can hit those uh, when you need to, you'll be fine. Father, you give and take away every joy and every pain. All will remain over it all. Father, you give and take away every joy and every pain. All you will remain over it all. Yeah. Um. Cool. So I think um, those are the main things you need to... Oh, there is a cool little deal in um, in uh, the uh, second chorus. Um, or I guess you would call it like the full uh, chorus one. Uh, but he'll, he'll do... The mountains are about my life to the one who set me free. This is all normal. The valleys I will lift my eyes to the one who sets me free. Here's where it is. And I'm searching. He does that little thing. When I'm walking on and I, na, na, na. I quit singing when I'm playing it because I'm trying to teach and do all that at the same time. Um, but what's going on is you hit your B minor chord and you go ba, ba, right here in these two notes. It's kind of an A inversion shape. And then we're on a D shape here. That's what you move down to with A in the bass. Um, so in time, when I'm standing on, 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 it's kind of where you hit it. When I'm standing on the mountain, didn't get there on my own. When I'm walking through the valley, I know I'm not alone. All right. So if you want to put those in, you can. You can just play the regular chords though if that's too much but it sounds pretty cool you know it's a pretty little thing that he does on the piano it's a pretty little thing now we're getting into country music you're a pretty little thing anyway um sorry for that there you go so i'm just trying to point out the different things you want to look out as you are um like I say, I'm recommending go over to his uh, acoustic video and and play along with this and uh, look at print out the stuff, the chords and lyrics from below, copy and paste, um, and that will really help you be working, learning how to get uh, through this whole song. So you'll and you'll hear all those different parts uh, that I taught. Sweet. So I told you I would I would explain a little more about the chords and why they work the way they do. So if you want to hear that, uh, that's this last part of the video for our B minor seven. It's a really cool way to uh, here's a here's a big word voice voice the chord. Um, so for a B minor seven, you need B, D, F sharp, and A. B, D, F sharp, A. So here I have B, F sharp, and here I have D and A. Right. So we just put them in a different order. We're using two hands to do it. So we're constructing the chord, but in a in a cool different way, and it sounds nice. We go to the A sus. For an A sus, you need A, D, and E. All right, so we have A, E, and then A and D. So A, D, E, and then the A's are redundant. So we're creating the A sus without having, having to move. It's pretty cool. Uh, for the G2, this one's a little more easy to explain. You just got your G chord plus a A there. And then our inversion of a D chord, D, D, A, F sharp, right? Regular D chord inverted up this way. We'll put our bass notes in. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, so that's how those flow in the E minor seven. Here's an E minor seven. E, G, B, D, E, G, B, D. It's kind of fun to see. E, G, B, D. What? What am I thinking? Rock him? E, G, E, G, B, D. Um, so we're, we're playing the E with the, the left hand 
but playing the other notes with the right hand so it gives us that full thing but then we don't have to move our uh, pinky off this D note to flow through all those chords cool I hope that wasn't too overwhelming for you today. This one's a little heavier lesson, uh, but really you can keep it simple as you play through and uh, sing along with the uh, track. So jump over and do that uh, to work through this whole thing. God bless y'all. Wayne McNett here, Piano Meditation. Sign up for the email list, um, and I'll, I'll send you more cool stuff about learning the piano. And if you really want to take it to the next level, I'll, I'll teach you how to do that and tell you where you can go to learn all of that. Uh, also... Check out my new album that I released, Wade McNutt, Fall Into Your Love. Search that on any online platform. God bless y'all guys. Uh, such a such an honor to uh, get the chance to teach people around the world. Love y'all. Piano meditation worship tutorials. Bye-bye.